this part is over. Welcome back to the Cave of Wonders Dreamwalkers, I am your Sith Lord Callus, and this is the Rancorous Review, the Resistance Edition. If you're new here to the channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications as I will be reviewing each episode on Mondays, after the original air date. The First Order occupation begins with Sonara looking to book passage off of Colossus Station, but the First Order has the station locked down while they search for a spy. Kaz is completely pissed off about this and the First Order's presence, but he is helpless against it. He is a resistant spy after all and must do what he can to keep a low profile. But when Team Fireball has a run-in with a few troopers in the marketplace, Nico spills all of Kaz's information onto the floor, giving up his whole government name, where he works, and how to find them. In his office, Captain Dozer protests the level of authority Commander Pyre appears to be granting his stormtroopers, arguing their power doesn't supersede his own. Dozer is also troubled by the First Order's occupation, and he questions if the extra security against the pirate attacks is worth the cost. Kaz voices his frustrations to Yeager in the garage, but Yeager tries to explain to the young buck that he must exercise patience. The First Order is no doubt monitoring all communications on and off the station. Any attempt to reach the Resistance could outcast as a spy and bring the fury of the First Order raining down on Team Fireball. Niku leads a small squad of troopers into Yeager's garage, where they question Kaz and his relationship with Sonara, who has been identified as a pirate spy. The troopers catch wind of Sonara's whereabouts, and Kaz rushes off with BB-8 to warn her. The two resistant spies trail Sonara to an empty corridor where she contacts Kragen Gore. He explains the First Order security is too tight, and Sonara will have to figure out another way off the station so he can arrange a pickup. Kaz allows his affection for Sonara to cloud his judgment, and he disregards Yeager's warnings. When he finally catches up with Sonara on the salvage dock, he warns her that the First Order is on to her, and he wants to help her get off the station. Kaz comes up with a plan to smuggle Sonara onto one of the cargo shuttles bound for Takadana, and they carefully make their way to the loading dock. But when BB-8 attempts to bypass the shuttle's security systems, he sets off the alarm, raising the attention of the First Order troopers patrolling nearby. Kaz helps Sonara onto the shuttle, and then draws the attention of the troopers away from the soon-to-be departing shuttle. The First Order gives chase, forcing Kaz into a dead end, but Sonara saves the day with a wrench. She dispatches the two troopers and they head back to the loading dock to board the shuttle, but it's too late. The shuttles are departing. Out of options and running out of time, Kaz knows there's one person he can ask who knows the station like the back of his hand, Niku. After giving it some thought, Niku identifies the escape pods located in the belly of the station that can help Sonara escape underwater. The group makes their way to the pods, but they're discovered by a squad of First Order troopers. Niku creates a distraction while Kaz and Sonara continue to the pods. Luckily, there's one left. Sonara makes it out into the deep water and contacts Kragen for pickup. Kragen arrives shortly after, and with a heavy heart, Sonara joins the pirates on their way back home. The First Order occupation helped to continue my suspicions of Niku and his affiliation with the evil regime, the First Order. It is still my opinion that Niku is a mole, a First Order spy, 
and his actions in this episode further substantiate my impression. Sonara too has turned out to be the compassionate being I suspected she was, and I enjoyed her contributions to the story. We haven't seen the last of Sonara San or Craig and Gore. So join me next time for another fun-filled recap. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and join the Dreamwalkers on our journey. Be sure to check out our Lore and Legend series where we dive into stories of the past. Or the Rankle Report where we cover pop culture, gaming, and Star Wars news, reviews, theories, and clues. We do what we love, and I hope you love what we do. This has been the Rancorous Review. Until next time. This party's over.